Most people go untouched when dissing with their ops on live. But here's what happens when dissing online goes horribly wrong. Starting with a man who was shot at on live while dissing his ops. Because the man goes on live talking very bad about one of his ops. Claiming that he's the reason that the dude he's dissing turned hard. You wanna be in a mother chest about shit. Acting like no mother Everything these, man, little boy learn came from me and them streets. From up top where the came from, off that same block, you still be wet as soft tissue. It went for me. I watch you look running in the house crying like the man continues driving around the city, ranting about his ops, and seconds later, someone hits at his whip. Talk about these niggas. Thankfully, the dude didn't get harmed, but it's one thing to diss on live while riding around and another to pull up right in front of your op's house while on live. Because that's what this next man did. Because this dude from New York went live in front of his op's crib, letting him know as soon as he came outside that he was going to be lit and that he was going to smoke him the time he came outside. I'm not playing. So you come through that door, is lit. Free me, n***a. Free trippy, n***a. So you come through this door, is lit. Word to my dead, I don't care about no cops, the man kept telling his op to come outside, and he didn't even care if his mom came outside since he said he was clapping at anyone who walked out the door. 88, I'm in front of his crib, bro. He could call the cops. Gangster, I'm here. Y'all see? Come outside, bro. Come outside, bro. Tell me, his mom, anybody come outside, I'm clapping him. Gangster, he told me crazy. I'm, I'm outside for the D's too, because he a cop caller. Seconds later, when the man stops paying attention and looking around, a round can be heard in the background. And that's when the dude that was doing all the tough talk on Instagram took off running. Come outside, I'm not playing. I'm not standing there for too long, bro. That so all that old user from my crib, you left, I'm here. Him and Marky going back and forth. He went. But he isn't the only person from New York who paid the price for dissing online. Because a dude from a set called Third Side was online dissing a dead guy named Rajiz. And so once his ops caught him, they checked him about the dissing. That's not true. And do not even think about running. Copy, run my dad. That's not true. You not smoking? You smoking all right? Nah, pull up. And do not run. Do not run. Where the f you? The dude tried to act clueless, like he didn't know what was going on when the guys were pressing him. In this next clip, this man whole energy changed after the people he was dissing online caught up with him in real life. The man posted a picture of him throwing down some gang set since he thought it'd make him look cool. But not long after posting that pic, a dude from that gang caught him at the barbershop and confronted him about it. And he was shaking and scared for his life. Mort, this the set. This the set. Yes, sir. Yeah, this the set. Hey, bro, this the set. Hey, my nigga, take that right here. Right. Let's move on to a dude from Chicago named Mubu Crump because one day he decided to go live at the location where Chicago rapper Lil Durk's cousin Nooski died and talk very disrespectfully about Nooski since they were known ops. Them left uh, Chino, I mean Nooski. They left his right here. You feel me? They left his up here on folks and them tweak. Buy some shoes. Y'all see? Y'all see real be up here though. Play with me up here on folks and on the news. I look like Nooski. Right then, not long after this, Crump decided to get more disrespectful on live. So he pulled up at the location where Dirk's manager Chino died and did the same thing. Hey, y'all got that order for Nooski? Chino Burger. Chino Burger. Yeah. Y'all got it? Hey, right? Oh, thank you. Crump would then go on to troll Nooski again on live. Hey, look, I'm gonna tell you. Look, you wanna know why I say Nooski name all the time? Cause Nooski told me he was gonna me, bro. So then it was funny to me when he got clapped. Like when, when oh. clap you, 
I'm gonna put this up there like that. He was non-stop with the dissing and trolling, but things would change on May 25th, 2018, because Crump was at a house party and he was standing outside the house until a car drove by and someone started sending shots. Crump was shot twice in the arm and twice in the torso. He was then rushed to the hospital and died from his injuries. And you should always think twice before acting tough online, because you never know when someone might catch you in public and confront you about it. In this next clip, this wannabe gangster instantly folds when caught in person. The man uploaded a video online claiming that he was shooting at people and that he was really about that life. I'm blowing your man Luigi. I did that. I did that. Not once, but twice. But the dude he was talking about ended up catching him at the casino and questioned him about the video. And that's when the wannabe gangster admitted that he never did that for real and was capping. You, you blew at me? That's me. I never blew on Sebastian. And, and, and Luigi? Never blew on Luigi. Not once, not twice? No, not I, 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 I blew her like on, uh, on you, blew, you blew on him? Who? Luigi? On, Lu on, Lu on Luke. Did I blow on yeah, Luigi? Yeah, yeah. Did you, did you blow on Luigi? Bash, I never said Bro. I blew on him twice. I never said, you I, never I, said I never said I blew on him twice. Oh, you never, never, never said that. Alright, say less. Never say less. That. Now, let's move on to a rapper named Lil CJ Casino, who was shot at after pulling up and calling out ops in the hood. Because he lets his ops know that he isn't ducking no action and that he isn't leaving the hood anytime soon. Ducking no action. What's up? You're chilling out. I'm ducking no action. In the end, I ain't gonna leave. Huh? On blood in the hood by myself. Where you there? On stop six. Nah, this hot cap. Where y'all at? Oh, blood, I'm in the hood by myself. Oh, stop six. Pop out. I don't need no big homies to protect me. He continued asking where the ops are since he was ready for all the smoke. But a few seconds later, someone pulled up and started hitting him. And it seems like he got touched since someone can be heard saying, take him to the doctor. I'm tired of playing with you on blood. You have to come scratch me on God. Where is you at, boo? God on Jesus Christ. Come scratch on blood game. Come yeah, just like that. Y'all see where I'm at on blood. Let's get that. On blood, I still got my little corn roll. Oh, stop six. Watch that. Hey, take Pee Wee to the doctor. Give me that. Give me that. In this next clip, a man from Chicago was talking very crazy online, letting everyone know if they pulled up through his hood, they were risking their life. Like he was big and bad. Yeah, pulled through this so on risk. You feel me? Pulled through this so on risk. Yeah. Till. We took the tab, yeah, that's awesome. Until someone let off a switch at him, and his whole mood shifted. Side of the town, ain't, well, y'all think of that side of the town, don't think. Thankfully, the dude ended up making it out of this situation untouched. And sometimes, you can get checked for things you said on live, even if you aren't dissing anyone. And that's what happened to this next person. Because a member from Oblock named Jay Hood got caught and pressed by his ops. Oblock Jay Hood was at the gym until some of Oblock's enemies noticed who he was. So they went up and checked him because he let Jay Hood know that he'd shoot the gym up. He then tells Jay Hood the only reason he's pressing him is since he's from Oblock and since he reveals too much online. Jay Hood then goes on to tell the guys just because he's from there doesn't mean he's with what they do because Jay Hood is one of the members who changed his life and became a blogger. But the dudes didn't care about that. Thankfully, Jay Hood stayed in the gym and didn't actually go outside like they wanted him to because there's no telling what would have happened. And things get really dangerous in Chicago, especially with all the gang violence out there. Because in this next clip, clout chasing rapper PGF Muda got hit at after calling out his ops while live on Instagram. I'm on that. They not out here, gang. This, this they park, folks. The this main stove right or they post. We up the moat. Hey, come on, meet you. He lets everyone on his live know that he's on the ops block and that they're never outside like they claim to be. Walk this whole block. That's my crib. We gonna blow they down. Not too long after walking on their block, he thinks he sees an op, but says it isn't anybody. But turns out it was because this happened next. Y'all tagging an awesome. 
almost got blew down on Marlon Gaines. No, nah, that ain't nobody. I was on. What are you? 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 Where are you going? Where are you going? Muda didn't know where the shots were coming from, and due to this live, his ops trolled him right after the incident. Hey, he tell like, what are you? 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 <laughs> Open your eyes, boy. Hey, it don't make it no better, cuz. I ain't gonna say his name. Y'all in a video with him. He saw folks. And his turned around. And his ain't do nothing. He saw folks. Now, let's move on to a man named Boulevard Quick. Because in August 2018, he dropped a video for his song, Never Like It. And at the end, he went on a huge rant against NBA Youngboy. That shot that your mama. Pull up. Mouth you. You know, TBG Gorilla Gang. Long live G Money. Why B's mom hopped in and told Boulevard Quick to leave him alone. But Boulevard Quick wasn't hearing that and responded, telling her to mind her business, which really pissed young boy off. Man. Yeah, man. Young boy, mom. Tell me about this. That eat a big long. So just a few weeks later, he was shot and killed. In November 2018, the police found Quick's body in the parking lot of his apartment complex. And YB recently spoke on the situation again on Impact, saying, Spoke on my mama. I ain't want to talk. I end up killing her. But now, let's move on to a man that called out one of his ops on live and instantly regretted it once they met up with each other. He goes on Instagram and tells someone named Andre to pull up on him since he wants to smoke with him. I'm in touch with Andre Paul Noel, fat tell that Pull up on me since he got so much say on the internet. Pull up, I ain't talking, bro. Pull up on me. Are you in Piranha? I guarantee you, I'll catch your fat slipping, bro. I'm so tired of y'all internet thugs nowadays, bro. Y'all think y'all just gonna rap on the internet and you feel me? Ain't no, bro. Listen, I don't got time to talk, bro. Either you gonna pull up or you gonna send me a mother address. Not long after all of the talking on the internet, the man he was talking about met up with him and they got into a little scuffle with each other. Let's just say the dude that was talking crazy got done the worst way. The man who called his op out was leaking and let everyone know that he didn't want to run it back because he had already gotten embarrassed. Come on, he got it. He leaking. Come on, man. You got gas. Bro, get up. Bro, get up. You want to scratch it? Or you want to slide? You want to scratch it fade again or you want to slide, man? You straight? Watch out, nah, 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 nah. Man, watch out, watch out. You ain't gonna try me, boy. Watch Some dudes were posted on the block in this next clip, flexing money, straps, lean, and dissing their ops, like most gang members do in Chicago. Yeah, we live here, we smoking honey, all that for no bread. Yeah, all the. We still up the drink. Yeah, we on our block. And up, I ain't a walk. Come on. And from the looks of it, it seems like they were going to film a music video or something. But not too long after dissing, someone started hitting at them and everyone instantly took off running. The comments were in shock since everyone was saying WTF and WTH. But if you thought that was crazy, this next dude got dropped for thinking someone younger than him was weak. And another got embarrassed for disrespecting Boosie. So click this video to see when wannabe gangsters mess with the wrong person.